With Black Friday approaching very fast, numerous offers are tempting spontaneous purchases. Those considering adding a drone to the basket should exercise extra caution not to end up with an unfortunate surprise after New Year. As of January 1st, 2024, there are new drone rules coming into play that will significantly impact where you can fly your drone if it weighs more than 250 grams. In such case, flight will be restricted to a minimum of 150 meter horizontal distance to cities, vacation home areas, and other forms of urban development and recreational zones. Therefore, my advice to you is to check the purchase one more time to make sure that the C mark is actually present so you don't end up in a situation where you can't fly your new purchase after New Year. That also goes if you buy secondhand, as many are trying to get rid of their old drones and salvage some value before the new drone rules are fully into effect. So if you see a good offer on a secondhand drone, then be extra careful. The number of drones that actually has a seal label as it is right now is quite limited. If you take DJI, you would have the Mini 4 Pro, you would have the Mini 2 SE, you would have the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 series. All the other drones from DJI does not carry a class identification label. And it's very doubtful if they ever will receive one. And the reason for that is that there's actually quite strict rules for the manufacturers of the drone for the drone to be compliant with this class identification label system. In general, buying a drone with a C mark is a way of sort of future proofing your drone, providing evidence that it meets all the mandatory standards and is safe to fly. The C mark is mainly focused around safety. The drone will need to carry a C0 to C8 label depending on how much damage the drone can cause during impact. Where the drones in the, the open category where most of us are going to fly will carry a label ranging from C0 to C2. The significance of the C mark will increase significantly after New Year as it will become illegal to market drones without a C mark. Also flying drones from January 1st without any marking is also prohibited. However, you're still capable of flying a sub 250 gram drone as long as it's self-built. What the criteria of that is, is not really clear to me. Does, can I take maybe, I don't know, one of my um, <laughs> DJI drones and paint it green, put bunny ears on top of it, and still make sure that the total weight of the drone is below 250 grams and then I could sort of classify it as self-built as it certainly deviates from uh, the manufacturer's specifications. And not to add any additional confusion to this discussion, what I'm talking about in this video is limited to people that are planning to fly in EU under the EASA drone regulations. So let's say that you're from the US or even from UK, it's a different set of rules. Where you have to search your information elsewhere to get updated on what's current. I've been told that interim period have been introduced where stores are allowed to sell drones without the C mark already in their inventory in 2023. What that actually means, I'm not really sure the impact of uh, that decision, but I'm pretty sure that this is a local rule for now and that there might be deviations from country to country. While drones without the C mark needs to keep a bigger distance to urban areas after New Year, the same distance requirements do not apply to the lighter drones. However, drone owners in Denmark should be aware that a general change in rules are expected in 2024, impacting how even the lighter drones are allowed to fly in relation to parks, castles, nature areas, and military installations. This is, as far as I know, local for Denmark, and a perfect example that erodes the whole purpose of having shared drone rules across Europe. EU. <laughs> Not to offend our friends from Britain. You can no longer be sure even if you know the overall rules, that there will not be local deviations that will get you into trouble. As and as a service to my Danish audience, you can read more about the changes in the rules through this link. So, what are you planning to pick up on Black Friday? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around. What are you planning to buy on Black Friday?